If you're watching this, you're wondering about dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging is the way that most people buy stocks. If you have a 401k or any other kind of retirement plan with your employer, you're going to be buying stocks every month or every pay period, and you will be getting whatever price the stocks are at that time. Now, if you're a hedge fund, you may be trying to time your purchases so that you're buying when the stock price is low and selling when the stock price is high. But if you're an average investor, better to dollar cost average because psychology of, of most people is that when stock prices are really high, you think it's gonna go even higher, so you end up buying more when stock prices are high. And then when stock prices go down, you don't want to buy stock. And so what dollar cost averaging does is it forces you to buy stock on a regular basis so that over time you will pay the average price for the stock. You're not going to buy the low, you're not going to sell the high, but you're going to get a fair price for the stock and over time you will accumulate a valuable asset. One important thing to remember about dollar cost averaging is because you're buying on a regular basis, you're uh, you have more transactions than you would if you were trying to time the market. So if transactions costs are an important factor, or if your transactions costs are very high, then dollar cost averaging may not be a strategy that you want to use. Mainly you would use dollar cost averaging when investing in no-load mutual funds or other investments that don't have a fee each time you invest. Um, if you use dollar cost averaging for a stock or an ETF and say your broker is charging you $10 and you're investing $1,000 at each pay period, that means that you'll be paying a 1% fee every time you invest. 